it's a wrap, it's a wrap, hey, it's a wrap. Hello, hello, welcome to It's a Wrap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose from what you would do. Hello, hello, welcome back to It's a Wrap, where I help you achieve your finished look. In this video, we are back for our Wheel Tastic Wednesday random nail challenge christmas edition okay so this is week one and we're going to be using this kit that i got from amazon i showed it in my amazon haul but this is the name of the company and it is one of those glue gel tip kits so we're going to be trying this out today and i want to do like a detailed video on how to apply them you all have been giving me a lot of questions and i really appreciate that so that we can really get into some of the things that you can do to make these stick and stay and not pop off and last for a long time like i was able to get mine to last okay so before we get into that I'm going to put my comments on the screen and from now on I think I want to put my comments only in the random nail challenge videos and maybe in January I might stop putting them in the videos so let me know in the comments how y'all feel about them I can always put them on my community page so give me some feedback about that in the comments but thank you all for commenting on the videos. Thank you for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all of your support on my channel, all right? So I'm also going to put the wheels on the screen. So on the wheels, I put a lot of different Christmas themes on the wheel, like snowmen, Christmas trees, presents, reindeer all of that kind of you know Christmassy stuff put all of that on the wheel and we're going to do two things okay so let's spin the wheel so for the theme we have okay snowman And we got presents, okay? Snowman and presents. That's going to be interesting. For the shape, we have round, okay? And for the length, We have short, okay? Short round nails with snowman and present. So this is going to be very interesting. Um, I don't think I want to do the colors um, because I just want to kind of be creative with that and use what I have to kind of figure that out. So... If I was doing like a acrylic set or something that I wanted to try out, I might do the colors. But for this one, let's just take these themes and see what we can do, okay? So in this box, it comes with these tips and I'm interested to see how these work because these tips are not clear. They actually look like some of the tips that I have bought before, so that's interesting. But they're not clear, so I'm interested to see how that works. And they came with this little lamp. And it came with four buffers. It came with their nail glue gel. And it came with some alcohol pads. So 
for a demo, I'm going to show you on this finger how I would recommend to apply this, okay? And this is, in my opinion, this is not something you just want to just go right in and apply. You want to do all of your steps. So I would first recommend to push back the cuticle and you can do this with a metal cuticle pusher or a orange wood stick. I'm just doing this because I don't see one of those at the moment. So you wanna push that cuticle area back. This is going to expose more of the nail plate and you're gonna see all of this white crusty stuff which is dead skin that you need to get off of there, okay? Then if you have a drill and you are comfortable using it, you can go around that cuticle area with a sanding band or with one of those smaller little drill bits to really get in the crevices. But if you are a beginner, you're probably not at that step yet. So you can go in with a buffer and you want to remove the shine, okay? With products to have good adhesion, you want to kind of remove that shine, all right? If you put something on a shiny surface, it's going to pop off almost guaranteed, okay? So you want to etch, etch it. Now, you don't want to etch it like, you know, disrupt the nail bed and cause grooves and ridges. You don't want to go in like that. You just want to gently remove the shine, okay? And sometimes when you buff it, it can make the nail smooth. So I would recommend using a medium grit sanding band, but everybody's nails are different. Um, for some people, buffing it is good adhesion. And for people like me, I go in with that sanding band and I get good adhesion, okay? But starting out, you don't know what works unless you try it, okay? That's why I recommend for y'all to try try everything, all right? Even stuff that don't work for me, try it. It may work for you, okay? It's not a one-size-fits-all type situation. So after you have that nail nice and buffed, then you can go in with one of the alcohol pads. I typically use... Um, the young nail swipe to remove my dust and it also acts as a dehydrator okay if you don't have a dehydrator you can use alcohol or acetone all right so after that the nail should be prepped now at this point you could go right in with the glue gel and all that me i go in with a dehydrator and a primer, okay? These are by me a secret. You will do the nail prep pH balance first, and then you will do the extra bond primer, okay? If you are a young nails person, you can also do the swipe, which acts as a dehydrator, and then go in with the protein bond, all right? So after that, your nails will be ready. Now I do these steps no matter what type of application I'm doing, whether it's the glue gel tips, whether it's acrylic, whether it's gel, whether it's dip. And that's why my nails stay on for a long time because I do all of these steps, okay? So if you're just, you know, not doing any of this stuff, it's possible that they can pop out. Now with these tips, for me, they work with the plastic tips. They work whether I etch the inside of them or not. For some of you all in the comments, y'all said that y'all had to etch the inside of the tip. So that is another step of adhesion. The same way you remove the shine from the natural nail. Removing the shine from the inside of the tip is gonna make it 
stick even better. So let's pull these out and let's see. So if you do not have a drill, you can take a buffer and just kind of go on the inside. And can y'all see how it is? roughing up the inside of the tip of course if you have a drill it'll be easier because you can just put that drill right inside of there and etch it so you see how it's shiny down there and here it's not this is where i buffed it okay so with all of these steps they should not pop off okay so let's apply it so this is all of the things that they have on the box and it says that it is a 16 watt lamp. So that is really good for it to be this small and the cord is giving me a nice good length. So that is great. We love a nice long cord and here is the power button on the inside. So you have to click it okay i got the light plugged up and everything so this is the debate okay a lot of people say they apply this first then they apply some in the tip and then put it on if that works for you great that if you're having problems with adhesion that might be a great method for me, I feel like with all of the steps that I take, I don't have to do that. So I just make sure that I put a lot, well, not a lot, but enough in here and then put it on like a press on and then go under the lamp. So on yourself, it will look something like that. You want to hold it in place and then put it under there. I like to click it and then do it because it's hard to click it or tap it when you're already under the lamp. So either way, if you feel like your nail beds are really flat and you want to go in with some gel first to kind of build it up and then go in with the tip, like I said, the best way to figure out what's gonna work for you is through trial and error okay so i'm going to apply some of this inside of the tip and i like to try to keep it in the middle i really don't want to bring a lot of it on the edges because when you press it down it's going to travel that way anyway Someone recently asked me about if you want the nails short. I feel like it's easier to apply them at the full length because you have something to kind of hold on to. And then after it's on, you can cut it, file it, shape it, whatever you want to do to it. So I'm going to turn it on. And then I'm going to press this down, starting at the cuticle. And put it on like a press on. And then go under the lamp. After a while, you'll be able to let go. and finish the curing. So someone also mentioned that when using tips that are not clear, that it does require a higher wattage. So because this is 16 watts, it is working well with these kind of natural color tips. So that's great. And as you can see, it's on here, okay? And this don't look like it's going nowhere, y'all. We didn't etch the, the tip, the, well, both tips. We didn't etch the natural nail, the tip, 
We didn't prep. We didn't prime. We didn't did everything. This this ain't going nowhere. Okay. So make sure that you all follow as many steps that you can to promote adhesion. All right. So what I did to this, I'm going to do to all of these and then we're going to get started with our design. I think I'm just going to do like gel polish and some other designs and stuff that I look through all my stuff and find. So I'm going to get all of that and then come back. For my round shape, I'm just going to take this curved clipper and just kind of take the corners off like that. And then I'm going to take a file round it out like that and then you want to take a buffer and go along the top of the nail this way your gel polish will stick after you have done that you want to clean away your dust with a alcohol pad or some swipe or something like that here's what i'm thinking i grabbed my kawaii charms and we have these presents here and we have these snowmen okay these colors are the traditional Christmas colors and I feel like because the nails are kind of short that might be too much to put on the nail so let's just open it up so we could do that but that might be a lot so i found these little christmas slices and i have these little presents and because we have that red and that blue i think that'll be like a different color combination for christmas and i have these little snowmen here so I think I'm going to use these two for the background. I found this color here that I think will look cute. And I think I just want to use this color and then put these on top. So they won't necessarily be encapsulated in the nail, but of course, matter of fact, let's encapsulate them yes let's do that let's try that so i'm going to put this gel polish down first and then i'm going to place these probably with like a base coat and then we're going to encapsulate it i think that'll be interesting to see how that works out so you want to apply the polish try not to get it on the skin and of course, if you get it on the skin, you just want to make sure that you remove it with a brush before you cure it. Okay, so I went ahead and did two coats of this. And I do have a swatch video for this company if you want to see all of the colors that I got in this collection. And to clean up, I use this brush. Somebody asked me about that. It is a nail art brush. It came in like a little kit or set. And I use these to clean up around the cuticle area or around the side walls to remove any gel. So this is what we are looking like with the two coats.
So these are the pieces that I took out. And as you can see, trying to move this little thing is difficult. So I prefer the different kind of cases. So I might take those out and put them in the other case. But I found a lot of different snowmen, but only a few presents in this one. I do have another one that has presents, but those are red and green, I believe. So I think I'm just going to stick with this kind of blue theme. So now I'm going to apply the base coat and then apply the slices. So I went in with the top coat and put it all over the nails and cured that. Now I'm going to go in with my Afro Glam Nails Clear Acrylic. And this is the Ultra Clear. It is so clear, y'all. It's perfect for encapsulating so that you can see everything inside, all of the glitter and all of that. So I love it for that. And I'm going to use my Afro Glam Nails Monomer. So I'm going to put my monomer in this dish. And I already have some of the clear in here. So the nails are capped and clear and I'm going to file them off camera but before I do that I wanted to talk about monomer and I like to take a paper towel and kind of sop up any monomer and clean out the dish. If you have a lid you can keep it in a lid in a container with a lid. So I have, I poured it in there and then I cleaned out my daffin dish. And this is the paper towel that has the monomer on it. So if you put it in your trash can, it's just gonna smell. You're still gonna smell it. So I have these little diaper sacks and I just got um, this box and I'll link it. I'll put my uh, Amazon link down below this video but all you do is just take your monomer on your paper towel or your towelettes or whatever you have you want to dispose of it in a bag and you want to tie it up and seal it up and any diaper bag would do if you already have some little diaper bags or some doggy bags or anything a ziploc bag but I wanted something that was special that I could use for this. So I grabbed these lavender scented diaper bags and this is what they look like. So I have that in here and I'm gonna tie it up. And that way the vapors and everything won't continue to be released and I won't continue to smell it. So. 
I saw a thread where people were talking about pouring it in the sink and all these other different things. Please don't do that. You want it sealed away in a bag and then you want to put it in the trash can. All right. So the nails are filed and now I'm going to go in with the top coat. And into the lamp she goes. So the top coat is cured and this is what they look like. Super cute. Now that I think about it, the blue is kind of giving me like maybe a snow kind of vibe. I didn't see that at first. But look at that. That is so cute. So this is week one of the Wheeltastic Wednesday Random Nail Challenge Christmas Edition. So let me know what y'all think about week one. This is the thumb over here to give the thumb some love. Let me know what y'all think about week one. Let me know if you will rock this set. I love it. And the idea to do the gel polish and then encapsulate it. That's something that I haven't done yet. So, hey, a challenge, okay? We're learning, we're improving, we're growing, and I love it. So, let me know what y'all think of this set. Make sure that you like the video, send it to somebody, share it on your Facebook page or something, Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Get your friends and family members to subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you keep God first, family second, and career third. And guess what, y'all? It's a wrap. I'll see y'all in the next video. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, it's a wrap, it's a wrap. Hello, hello, welcome to It's a Wrap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, yeah, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose from what you would do. It's a one stop shop, it's a wrap, yeah, we do that. Go subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, and just sit back.